Uh, my name is Mike Feniger. I'm the president of the ACLU of Florida, and I live here in Tampa. Florida is actually the center of voter suppression. It's probably worse here than it is in any other state in the union because we have something everybody else has, all the laws about restricting third-party registration, uh, delay, you know, the efforts to suppress the vote in terms of registration, all this kind of stuff. But we also have the voter ID issue in, in, in spades, and we have uh, hundreds of thousands of ex-felons who, by writ of the governor's order, basically now have to wait from five to seven years to be able to get their civil liberties back so they can vote. The problem is when people get their right to vote back, the, the, the uh, parole commission basically is supposed to notify them, but we know that there are at least 13,000 records that we've been able to identify where those people were not notified. Now it's difficult, obviously, but if they really wanted to, they could place ads in papers, they could get public service announcements, they could do all kinds of things to get these people rounded up, and they haven't actually done that yet, which is too bad. People who are just out of prison, for example, and have committed, finished their sentences and satisfied their debt to society, many of those people move around a lot, they tend to be poor, uh, it's kind of difficult to track them in some cases. And so if the Parole Commission really wanted people to vote uh, after they've satisfied all the requirements, they ought to bend over backwards to make sure people get notified. The cover story that the legislature uses to suppress the vote is that they need all of these measures to stop voter fraud. And the fact of the matter is that in 2008 till about 2011, the League of Women Voters found only 38 cases of people who tried to impersonate somebody at the, at the polls over a period of time when millions of Florida people have voted. Uh, there is no voter fraud at the polls. The voter fraud comes at the absentee ballot level, but none of the measures to suppress the vote deal with the issue of absentee ballots and corruption there. The ACLU had a really great victory along with the Brennan Center, and we managed to stay the implementation of the Voter uh, Suppression Act that prevents groups like the League of Women Voters and FCAN and others from going ahead and pre-registering, uh, helping register voters, uh, and basically all the penalties that used to be associated with that have been now enjoined. So between now and October 9th, we ought to go out and register as many people to vote as it's humanly possible to do. The other things we can do is we can take a look at all the young people and all the people who have moved and gotten married and changed their address or changed their name, and we need to let them know that they need to register those changes with the supervisors of election because if they don't do it, they're going to have to cast provisional ballots, and those provisional ballots mostly are not going to get counted. And the final thing we can do is we can turn out the vote. We can show people in Tallahassee that no matter how much they try to suppress the vote, we aren't going to take it. We're going to get people out, we're going to get them to the polls, and we're going to vote in huge numbers on November the 6th. I am a retired Army Colonel. I spent uh, 30 years as an intelligence officer. I one of my last jobs was as the Director of Intelligence for Special Operations Command out at McDill. When a military officer signs on and raises his hand, he swears to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the fact of the matter is that people who are trying to suppress the vote, as far as I'm concerned, are basically enemies of the Constitution and they're enemies of democracy. Uh, there is a classic quote that I could give you if you would like it. It's from a guy from Acorn. And sometimes people, when they don't know what's going on, will tell you exactly what it is they're really thinking. And the quote from Acorn is pretty interesting uh, because he says, this is Paul Weirich, uh, who is with, not Al Acorn, but Alec, the, uh, the American Legislative Exchange Council. And he said, now many of our Christians have what I call the goo-goo syndrome, good government. He said, they want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of the people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. So, as a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. 
And that basically kind of blows up the whole idea about voter suppression. Voter suppression is not about fraud. Voter suppression is about trying to suppress the vote among minorities, language and ethnic and racial, suppress the vote of young people, suppress the votes of the poor. That's what it's all about.